Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this fuzzy picture of a lollipop and want to know how you could draw that. And they said it doesn't have to be like this exactly. This is really kind of easy and fun. I drew this in just a few minutes. So we just need to take an ellipse, holding down the control button, and get a perfect ellipse and hit P. That doesn't really matter, but it really does kind of in a way. Draw a line, holding down the control button, and hit P. And it's funny because I just rotated something five degrees this morning, so I just went with five degrees. Because your P, you don't have to move it because it's in the center of the page. We're going to rotate it five degrees. I didn't make a duplicate, but we can go ahead and rotate it 10 degrees and just keep on going from there and just be careful when your lines meet. Don't go, well, it doesn't really matter, but try not to go over. Then you could make your, your ellipse any size you want. You know, you could make it bigger or smaller at this time because it's in the center of the page. Hold down your uh, shift tool and you'll get that. <clears throat> and I just started thinking, well, let's just, I, I use nine colors to make it easy. And of course, black wouldn't be one of them, but we'll just go with blue as one of the colors. I'm just using the smart fill tool. We'll use a light blue, maybe not next to it. Whoop, we don't want a gray. A light blue, maybe not next to it. Um, maybe a green between them. So we're at three, four. And the reason I want five or nine is because it's going to be. Um, very easily to rotate it around. Let's use a purple on the other side. You just don't want two matching colors kind of next to each other. Uh, yellow I haven't used, so we'll put a lighter color there. I'm at seven. Uh, we'll use this color, and you could pick, she could pick whatever color she wants. Let's go with that. Um, well, that's too close to the other one. Maybe that lighter blue. So, we can grab those colors and control G to group them together. And the reason I didn't get any of the lines is because of the fact that I didn't encompass all the lines. I'm going to control D and duplicate that. And I'm going to move the rotation to the node in the center. And then I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. Control D, control D, control D, control D. Now, if I would have grouped my lines together this time, I could get them all the way out of the way. But I'm just going to select just the colors and so I don't have any line completely selected. Well, I might have a few. We're going to move that out of the way and you see I had a few selected, but it's only just a few. We'll go ahead and put them back, back to where they belong. Easier said than done. So if I would have grouped my lines together to start with, I wouldn't have to be doing this. And I, I don't really have to put these back. So I'm just going to go and delete them because I'm not going to use them again. And I'm going to control G to group this together and hit P, put it in the center of the page for no other reason than I like drawing in the center of the page. Then go up to the shape tool and get your twirl tool. Make sure it's about the size. You can always make it bigger. Let's make it uh, 22 inches big. You can always be a little bit bigger. Try to get right in the middle and then twist it. So I like my colors on my original one, but you get the idea. Now just make the, uh, the stick. I'm just going to use a rectangle tool. And when you do twist it, sometimes you can see behind it. But we need to go to, you don't have to. We're going to just take the smart fill tool and fill that in with black. Really, they used to be white, but depending on if you, she can make it white if she wants to. Uh, so I'm going to nudge that out of the way. If you're going to print this on a t-shirt, you can make the popsicle stick or the lollipop white. I like my original better. Um, you could possibly even get to this swirly more color, but that's how somebody did that with a swirl tool type effect. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.